Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to join a Windows 7 computer into a peer-to-peer -peer workgroup. You would do something like this in a home environment or a small office environment that was lacking a domain controller but it was an environment where you still wanted to authenticate to your computer and do file sharing on a network. So in this demonstration I've got two Windows 7 virtual machines running inside of VMware Player. I've got BK-CL1 and BK-CL2. And the first thing we're going to do is join each of these Windows 7 virtual machines into a workgroup called BK. So on BK-CL1, I'm going to click on Start, click on Control Panel, click on System and Security, and then click on System. This opens System Properties, and if we scroll down, you'll see that the computer name is currently BK-CL1, and it's a member of a workgroup called Workgroup. I'm going to change the settings and I'm going to rename this computer or change its domain or workgroup so I'll click change. So you click on change and the workgroup is simply called BK. So we'll click on OK and we're joining a workgroup called BK at this point in time. So we get welcome to the BK workgroup and we click on close and then we have to restart our computer to apply the changes. So I will restart my computer now and while this is restarting I will do the same thing to BK-CL2. On BK-CL2 I'm going to take a shortcut to get into system properties. I'm going to click on start, right click on my computer, left click on properties which gets me to the same place, system properties, I'll change settings, click the change button, and I'm going to join the workgroup called BK. Type BK in, click OK. I'm currently joining the workgroup called BK. We're welcome to the BK workgroup. We close this, and I'm going to restart now. Perfect. So I've got a user account on both of these computers called BK Lab. But if Rocky is going to use either one of these computers and share data or retrieve data with the other computer, the Rocky user account needs to exist on both computers as well. Now for a peer-to-peer workgroup to work efficiently and easily for the end user, the user account must exist on all computers as well as the matching password. So if I have a password for Rocky on CL1, that same password for Rocky must exist on CL2. So I'm going to log in to this computer using the user account name BKLab, which is a local administrator. And I'll log in to BK-CL2 as BK Lab as well, local administrator, and then I'll go back to BK-CL1 and let's create a local user account for Rocky. So we click on start, click on control panel, and in here we can go to add user accounts and family safety or we can just click right in to add or remove user accounts, which is what I'll do. From here I'd like to add or create a new account and this is going to be a standard user account it will not be an administrator and the user account name is Rocky and we create the account. Once the account is created we have to assign a password to Rocky so if we click on Rocky and go to change the password and let's just say we put a password in of Rocky, R-O-C-K-Y, confirm password, R-O-C-K-Y, and we change the password. Oh, we can't, because the password you type does not meet the password policy requirements. By default, Windows 7 
requires a minimum password length of seven characters as well as password complexity and password complexity means the password contains three of four character types so the four character types are lowercase letters uppercase letters numbers and special characters such as the dollar sign or the pound sign so I'm gonna click on OK and now I'm gonna type a password in that's eight characters long and uses all four character types so I'll put a password in of capital P lowercase a dollar sign dollar sign lowercase w the number zero and then a lowercase r lowercase d I'll confirm the password and we'll click on change password and Rocky now has a password now if Rocky doesn't want the picture of a sunflower to identify him you can always click on change the picture and define a picture for Rocky so let's make Rocky a robot so we'll click the robot and change picture Rocky is now a robot picture Rocky is a standard user and Rocky has an adequate password so let's do the same thing on BK-CL2 and this way Rocky can use network sharing easily using pass-through authentication so we'll click on start we'll click on control panel we'll add or remove user accounts we will create a new account we'll put the account name in of Rocky Rocky's a standard user we create the account we now have Rocky we have to click on Rocky create a password we'll type in P a dollar dollar W zero R D capital P a dollar dollar W zero R D we will create the password and let's change the picture for Rocky here as well and Rocky's going to be a robot again click on change picture and we now have created Rocky on both computers with the same password on both computers and Rocky can log into either computer now using local authentication and use data or resources on the other computer without being prompted for additional credentials so this is how you would join a Windows 7 computer to a peer-to-peer -peer work group this would be done when you want to authenticate to log on to a computer and share data between computers without being prompted for additional credentials in a home office or small office environment this concludes my demonstration this is brickhouselabs.com and thank you very much for watching